Right. It's like very hard to understand how to destroy the causal sangha. So Radharani is giving an example to teach this. There was one rich person, he had a lot of money. But whatever he did, he used to do bad things, offenses. And food because of that result. So he had to give up his life sometime. So he was thinking that that I want liberation, mukti. So for this regard, one rich person, he he hired a very nice lawyer. So in court, what happened? So the better lawyer you have, then the more easy solutions you get and you can defeat the opposition. Nothing else is the court. What happens in the court? There are two lawyers, they are just giving their opinions and nothing else. And so judge is never tired. Judge is never tired of listening to the opinions of these two people. He is like sitting in the middle of argument between two, two people. It's like over and over again argument is going on in the, in the court. So some cases are going on for like 50 to 60 years and they are arguing in the court. It's not easy. So for example, there's a criminal case and then there are many cases. They just keep going on for time and time. So people, he the Prabhupada said, the people die. People die fighting cases. <laughs> so for this regard, it is said, so if you, if you get in the court, cases then your life is wasted. So in the house where doctor is there and the place where lawyer is there like so this means like a place where is the diseases and a place where court and cases so your life is wasted. All your money will be eaten by lawyer and doctor in this case. So, so they're just arguing over and over again in the court. Then the judge changed, then you have to explain everything to the new judge again. <laughs> There's nothing in the life of court. It's just like they are making money for no reason, nothing else. So if two brothers are fighting, then and they can resolve between them, it's good. If they don't resolve themselves between, it's not good and they go to court, then then it's a trouble for both of them. There are like two monkeys. It's, it's like, it's like uh, take, taking a piece in front of a monkey and asking them to ask a monkey to divide it equally. And then the and then when, as soon as it's divided, they, they, one monkey eat it, another monkey eat it, so it's gone, finished. So you said we came for, we came to this monkey to divide equally, and but everything is destroyed. And the two fruits, they are, both are gone. In Bangla, this is a proverb. It's like asking a monkey to divide something equally. We heard this like, when we were little, we heard this. So whoever goes to court and kachari is the biggest foolish person. The both person are foolish who go to court. You understand? So only foolish persons go to court. Both, both of the sides are foolish. So all, all your land or your house, everything will for this regard, people are going to court. You're not going to get anything, any benefit from it. So you will die fighting court case. Here what happens? I'm saying this for because... So, 
So rich persons, they have so much money, so they hire a judge. And a judge, judge gave him the uh, sentence, a uh, death sentence in the court. And so he hired a very expensive lawyer. lawyer okay. He hired a very expensive lawyer. And the lawyer said, I will protect you from the death sentence. You give me like 200 grand euros, then I will save you. So the rich person said, okay, I will give you this much money and you please protect me from this uh, death sentence. So the lawyer said, I will do everything. I will make documentation, I will make all the everything, all the evidence. The lawyers do say this, right? So whatever the judge asks you, you on the final day, whatever the judge asks you, you just you just listen and move your head like this. Like up down. Just move it like this. And what you don't speak anything. Whatever I speak, I will speak. So in front of judge, you just you just move your head like this, like right, left, up, down, like a mad person. Move your head, and I will speak everything. So the date of the case came, and they went to the court. Although the final date came of the decision date of the case, and the judge asked to the criminal who was a rich person he said have you killed anyone have you killed this person so he looked up then he looked right so what did you do what have you done and then he looked at the left and so the rich the lawyer said this rich person is mad this person is mad the lawyer said <coughs> so if a mad person commits a murder then there is no punishment so according to the law there is no punishment for a mad person who commits murder so he must go to a mental hospital. He don't kill him, don't put him death sentence. So you cannot sentence uh, death to the mad person. We offer them shelter in the mental hospital according to the laws. So the judge said, this person is mad? According to the law of constitution, you cannot give him the death sentence. He has been mad for the past 10 years. And he showed all the certificates and all the evidence to prove his fact. So this is the job of lawyer, right? He created all the fake evidences. So they just copy and they just make fake evidence. And what the judge do? He wrote, right, that this person is mad. He declared it on his uh, document. You have to stay sometimes in one mental hospital. And done. So then they asked. The lawyer asked. Well, like I protected you from sentence of die. Give me peace. Give me fees. Then, then he looked here, right, left. You're like, hey, I have protected you. Give me money, the lawyer said to the criminal. But the rich person, he looked up, down, and acted like a mad person. <laughs> like, if I am a mad person, how possible I give you money? I am a mad person. You proved me I'm mad, right? So, does mad person pay you any money? <laughs> you're like I protected you and you're not even paying me my fees the lawyer said the lawyer did not say anything else what can he say they give me said 
I am mad person. You have declared that I am mad, right? So a mad person does not have any money. What is the meaning? I am. I explain this story, a short story. It's like a joke story. What story? Joke. Like funny, funny story. So the causeless anger. How possible to destroy causeless anger? So Radharani is looking at different direction. Krishna looking at different direction. So Radharani said, "Hey Krishna, look towards me. Oh Krishna, look towards me." And Krishna said, "You made me mad. First, you told me to look in the opposite direction." So, do you love a mad person? Who loves a mad person? Lift up their hand. Only mad person loves a mad person. <laughs> For this regard, you said to the causeless anger. To destroy this careless anger is. So it's like they are. They are laughing and joking with each other. It's not happening at that time. So there are so many stories of anger, Lalit Man. Durjaman. Durjaman. Durjaman means like unbreakable anger. One is Lalit Man and one is in Ujwal Nilmani, it is explained. So there are so many stories of anger, pastimes of anger. Lalit Man is this ma anger is is known as a full of love. So, so it is only exists in the heart of Radharani, this anger. If this anger is not there, then Ras Lila would not happen. So Ras Lila Paramur mod is not enough to get the Ras Lila. There is one more important thing, this uh, anger, this type of anger is very important for Ras Leela. What does anger do? So in the heart it brings uh, anger, this is Man. In Srimad Bhagavatam, it's explained that Krishna that he was playing with the other gopis and he's meeting other gopis and Radharani sees this that he's meeting other gopis and Radharani gets angry and other gopis they think that we are so fortunate and Radharani is thinking as she's angry that Krishna is going to other gopis all the gopis are thinking that Krishna is with me in Srimad Bhagavatam Sukhdev Goswami Pad, he said to Parikshit Maharaj that Krishna is running so fast, so fast in a circular motion from one gopi to another gopi to one other gopi, in moving like a circle. And then all the gopis are thinking like Krishna is with me only, so he's going so quickly around the, all the gopis. For this regard, all the gopis know, think, feel that Krishna is only and only with me. It's not possible for Krishna to go to another gopi because Krishna is running so fast, so fast you can't even realize. He's everywhere, so that's why he said Alava Chakra. Like, Alava Chakra means where uh, 
So, so if there's a stick, you move it in the fire. In Bangla, there's this machinery. So when there's a worshipping practice, and we move it in a circular motion, oh, when we move this in the fire, and we see, we can see a circle in the fire when we move it. Exactly like that, Krishna is running so fast, so fast that he is with all the gopis at the same time. So Yogmaya is uh, appearing the Leela in the heart of all gopis that Krishna is only with me. And here Srimadhi Radhika, what is she seeing? That Krishna is, has left me, has abandoned me and is with uh, other gopis and doing love Leelas with them. So this regard, Radharani got angry and all the gopis, they thought that we are so fortunate. That Krishna is only with me. They, are, they felt that we greatly fortunate. So that Radharani, she got angry and she left the Ras. So Krishna to go to pacify the anger of Radharani, he he left all the gopis and he went to pacify Radharani behind her. <coughs> so this katha it is explained in Geet Govinda. So Satakoti gopis. How many gopis are there in Godaras? One hundred seven zeros after hundred. No. One hundred and then five zeros after it. In Ras Lila, three hundred crore. It's like nine zeros after three. Nine billion. Nine billion. So they were in Ras Lila. Can we even imagine how big is it? And there are so gop gopis. Also. In Braj, so many people are there. <laughs> and what are you doing in Vrindavan? So, so the Bhagavad Dham is created with the mercy of Yogmaya. It becomes big and small as per the needs of the population like it expands itself like elastic it opens it can become small and it can extend also exactly like that with the help of young maya the dham of god it uh, expands and it shrinks also so with the desire of god all the gopis they come i'm saying this because that in, in rasalila Two things is the one is Parikriya Bhav Parvo Mood and the second thing is Lalit well, sorry Vamma Bhav. The time is almost up. Without Vamma Bhav Ras cannot happen. Vamma means anger. Vamma means anger. And why is uh, anger coming? It's only because of so strong love and affection. So we see Vamme Bhav between husband and wife, there's no strongness in it. There's anger between husband and wife. Like sometimes wife and husband, they are they are fighting over topics, but that fighting topics are not very strong. Why? Because their love diminishes, it gets decreased. There's no beauty of meeting and things between them. And that time, so wife and husband, they start to see faults of each other. In Paraki Abhav, this does not exist. So for this, the both the sides they are craving for meeting. This is the special quality of the paramour mood. Paramour mood, what happens? 
there's always curious to meeting and they are not seeing the faults of each other and sakyata they start seeing the faults of each other so even in one house wife and husband are sleeping and they are like you never don't let me sleep they are like and the other wife is saying you don't let me sleep they are like you are snoring you are snoring you are not letting me sleep there is no le- reason but they are arguing for no reason but in parakriya bhav they are not seeing this faults i am giving normal example in husband and wife they see is there it uh, falls or not they see their falls in parakya bhav paramur mood they don't see the falls of each other and they are always curious to meet again why because there's a gate in the middle Krishna is saying, with the help of Yog Maya, Krishna does not know gopis, and gopis, they don't know Krishna about Krishna. So the first story of meeting is like this. So I don't know gopis, and gopis don't know me. So how possible they are meeting? They are they are they are got attracted at the first look like a stranger. So Yogma is making all this thing happen. So with the help of Yogma, everything is happening. Do not understand that you. So I am son of a gopi, and the gopi nobody nobody knows who they are, and nobody knows who the other person is. So how is it possible the meeting happen? They are meeting as like strangers, and they getting attracted to each other on spot. So they just like love at first sight. They just look with their eyes, and then they fell in love. So I'm Raman. No. Am I? I am the enjoyed or the enjoyer. I do not know which one I am. So the two hearts of people, they become one. So am I the enjoyer or am the enjoyer? So it's like everyone is one. The lovers become one. So in Raya Raya Brahmanand, he is explained in scriptures. Five arrows, five man. So the so love is happening with the five cupid arrows. There are five cupid arrows of love. So so love is like five arrows. In Kam Gayatri Mantra, we know, right? It's a very beautiful katha. Tomorrow I will explain it. Like five cupid arrows. So on a mara no charan, samma one. So there are five arrow cupid arrows. We are ch- chanting Kam Gayatri, but we should also understand the meaning of it. So do you know the mantra meaning of mantra? Panchabana di mahi, Pushpabana di mahi. So there are five type of cupid arrows of love. Five type of flower of arrow. Pushpaman like a arrow of flowers.
Did uh, Cupid shoot his arrows at Lord Shiva? So there is a story in Srimad Bhagavat Sutta Goswami Pad in front of Son Kadirishis. He glorified the gopis when he started glorifying. And then he said, Hey Son Kadirishis. How do I glorify the love of gopis? The gopis. Their part and parcel is in the Mahishis or the wives of Krishna and that mood to take, to take this uh, the darshan of this mood Kamdev he came so Kamdev saw this mood and he fainted the god of lust so he could not fire any arrow the mood was so deep it's just in his mind. In Chaitanya Charitamrita is explained, the Krishna eyebrows of Krishna are shaped like a bow of an arrow. Bow. And his eyes, eyes is also like an arrow. The of, the, of Krishna is like an arrow. He shoots the arrows with the bow of his eyebrows. Yeah, just seeing Krishna calm there, he faints. Three types of calm there, Cupid. So the king of the Swarga, in Indra, he. It's not the practice of Kamdev, like Kamdev, he is in, in this dance, making the people of this material world dance. Like you see a little ant and the Brahma, Purvangi, he is making dance like puppets. So that is known as Prakita Kamdev. And one is, one Kamdev is Pradyum. Pradyum, the, is known as, known as Kamdev. So he had this qualities, Vasudev, Sankarshan, Pradyum and Anirudh. And Dwarka, so they are also known as uh, Kamdev, the uh, qualities of Kamdev. Vasudev, Sankarshan, Pradyum and Anirudh. Pradyum is the... I explained yesterday. He had qualities of Krishna and the sense of all, the Mool Kamdev, the essence of the main Kamdev is Krishna. So for this Krishna is known as, is known as the main, main Kamdev, like we are reading the Kam Gayatri, Kamdev with the Mahin. So this is the main Kamdev, Krishna. The, we are telling about the arrows, right? So when Krishna is doing the Ras Leela, at that time, Kamdev come, came and to, te to test Krishna he came and, and he could not even fire, fire any arrow of his. Krishna just by his glance, he just took darshan with a sidelong glance, he just fainted. Kamdev fainted. This has been explained. And Krishna, he gets fainted on seeing the side long glance of the gopis. So with Radha Rani's eyebrow, when Radharani is angry at that time, Radharani sidelong glance, the Krishna, the transcendental Kamdev, Krishna, at that time, he faints. 
There's so many beautiful explanation of it. There are 24.5 letters of Kam Gayatri. The 24 and a half letter. This Kam Gayatri is the body part of Krishna. Each one signifies one body part of Krishna. Man Bihari Lal Ki Jai.